are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Guys, we are at the end of June. How in the world did we already get to the end of June? I feel like summer's being very rude and disrespectful and I don't appreciate it. That also means that I am almost 20 weeks, so I'm halfway through my pregnancy and I'm not ready. Not ready for him to be here yet, quite yet. Oh my goodness. But since it is the end of June, that means that we are going to be picking our July themed cozy for July. Of course, July. Ugh. Courtney, words are hard. So for June, we picked um, If You've Got It, Haunt It. And I'm so excited to be talking about that with you guys this coming Wednesday on the 29th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to pop the link down below as well. If you haven't read the book, you are always welcome to come as well just to hang out and chill for a little bit and just talk cozies with the most amazing people in the whole entire world. Um, but remember that if you want to vote for July's book, then you need to go to the Patreon account. You do not have to create an account. You can just go and vote. You don't have to become a patron. If you want to get a really cool bookmark that I make every single month for the book, then you can join um, the Patreon and it's only a dollar for the bookmark that I design. So without further ado, let's get started. The theme for July is holidays. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am in love with Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of the whole entire year. Be that cliche or not, I don't care. I love Christmas. There is just something about it. But I chose only one Christmas themed book for the holidays. So you should be very proud of me. I'm very proud of my restraint. So there's that. Um, the very first book I have is Death Overdue by Ella Allison Brooke. It is a haunted library mystery series. It says Carrie Singleton is just about done with Clover Ridge, Connecticut until she is offered a job as the head of programs and events at the spooky local library complete with its own librarian ghost. Her first major event is a program presented by a retired homicide detective, Al Buckley, who claims he knows who murdered Laura Foster, a much loved part-time librarian aide who was bludgeoned to death um, 15 years earlier. Hello, Cleo, how are you? As he invites members of the audience to share stories about Laura, he suddenly kills over. This is set during Halloween, so that is our our theme for that, um, our holiday theme for that. Hello, Cleo. You may come up. Thank you. Okay, so the next book that I wanted to do was something like summer 4th of July kind of theme, okay? My birthday's July 6th. My little sister's is July 4th, so I felt like I had to have one. But by golly, I could not find one that was the first book within the series. I did find this one. It's book two. So I am prefacing that. And I have not read book one. But it looks really, really good. So if you want to read a summer-themed cozy, this is the pick. It's called Bold Over. It is a vintage kitchen mystery series by Victorian Hamilton. And there's a little cat on the cover. It's so cute. Vintage kitchenware and cookbook collector Jamie Layton has been estranged from her high school best friend Kathy Cooper since they were teenagers, but she never knew what turned Kathy against her. After a fireworks display at a 4th of July picnic, Jamie discovers the body of her former friend in the park. On the ground nearby is Jamie's own Depression Era glass bowl, broken in two. The cover looks super good. I... I love the synopsis. I think that it sounds pretty fantastic. Now, last but certainly not least is a Thanksgiving themed cozy. So I've got The Diva Runs Out of Time by Krista Davis. This has been on my TBR to read for years. Um, and it's only $3.99 right now on Kindle. But um, yeah, I'm super, super, super excited to uh, read this if this is what we choose. 
It says, few can compete with local celebrity Natasha Smith when it comes to entertaining, but Sophie Winston is determined to try. Her childhood rival may have stolen the spotlight and her husband, but this Thanksgiving, Sophie is determined to rob Natasha of the prize for Alexandria, Virginia's stupendous stuffing shakedown. She just needs the right ingredient. But Sophie's search for the perfect turkey takes a basting when she stumbles across a corpse. When the police find her name and photo inside the victim's car, Sophie will have to set her dressing aside or she'll be serving up prison grub. So yeah, all of those sound absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna be super excited for whichever one we all choose. Um, but yeah, go over to the Patreon account and um, go and vote. Um, it will be up after this video. So thank you so much. That's the end of this chapter of Court Antagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading. Bye.